Yeah, my name is Dr. Lawrence Wilson. I'm a biophysicist at the University of York, and I teach a first year course on thermodynamics. My research is in biophysics, um, with a primary interest in how microorganisms swim. So there's a strong crossover with biology there as well. The ability of microorganisms to swim is important because it helps them get around from A to B and it helps them generate and propagate to the next, the next round of their life cycle. A particular interesting example of this recently was the malaria parasite. The malaria parasite generally doesn't swim, but it has one peculiar life cycle stage in which it does, and it forms a very long, thin filament structure. And physicists like these because a thin filament is a kind of spherical cow in a vacuum, if you like, and it lets us study swimming on a very basic level in a way that we can probably understand. So this thin filament swims around by moving molecular motors inside it, and it swims very fast and has this complicated 3D beating pattern. So we built a holographic microscope, we imaged these things very fast and we were able to untangle some of the aspects of how its structure relates to the way it can swim. The big thing we found in that study was that we were able to record the waveform of this structure as it swims. And the big deal about that is that these elemental structures, these tiny little micro swimmers, are extremely similar in their structure to things we find in our own body, like cilia in the lungs and the brain and this sort of thing. And these structures perform important functions in the human body for pumping fluid around and doing this sort of thing. So we were able to relate some electron microscope pictures that we'd seen that showed the structure of the internal motors within this swimming filament. And we were able to show that, unlike what was known in the literature previously, the internal structure does not dictate how these things swim. In fact, the internal structure has a handedness, a sort of certain a chirality is what physicists say to it. But by looking at the images of this thing as it swims, we're able to show that the underlying structure was not related to the way that it swims. In fact, it's a very general swimmer. It can swim in all sorts of different ways, and there was no hardwired swimming pattern built into the structure. One of the things we're interested in is understanding how life has achieved swimming in different ways. So for example, um, all of the bacteria swim in more or less the same way. There are some subtle variations, but a lot, a lot of the bacteria swim in a very similar way and they've got little motors embedded in the cell membrane that are exciting to a physicist because they look exactly like electric motors. They've got a rotor and they've got a stator, and as opposed to using electrons and electric currents, they use a current of protons. But there's a lot of superficial similarities to these devices. Mm -hmm.